friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. In case you're new here, my name's Jennifer. Today we are going to be filming my Azure Standard Haul for the month of October. I got a pretty big order this month, so I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I got. So I'm just going to take you through and show you all the stuff that I got and talk a little bit about my plans for each of them. So we'll start with the chocolate because chocolate is always a great place to start. So this month I got a three pack of this organic salted toffee dark chocolate. I have tried these chocolates before and I really like them. They are definitely a nice little indulgence. So this month I got a three pack of them because they're a little bit cheaper if you buy them in a pack of three as opposed to buying them individually. So hopefully these will last for a little while. We'll see how long these last. Now kind of sticking with the chocolate theme, I got these for the very first time. So every month when you pick up your Azure Standard order, they include a flyer with some sales for the next month. And last month when I picked up my September order, these were kind of a highlighted featured product in the sales catalog or the sales flyer. So of course, they looked really good. They were kind of marketed as a healthier version of M&Ms. I don't think that they are actually certified organic, but they are non-GMO made with natural ingredients. All the coloring is made using natural ingredients. Um, let's take a look and see what it says for coloring ingredients. So they're colored with things like vegetable juice, as mentioned, spirulina, turmeric, annatto, beet color. So the colorings that are used in this are definitely a lot healthier than the unnatural food dyes that you'll see in M&Ms. So again, I'm not gonna say that this is a health food or a health product, but it is a healthier alternative. So we decided to go ahead and give these a try this month. So I will, I will report back in one of my future hauls and let you guys know how we liked these. Now in another previous haul, I think this was maybe two months ago or so, I tried one of these E-Cloth Kitchen Dynamos for the first time. And I'm just gonna open it up and show you what it looks like. Now you can probably guess by the fact that I bought a second one that I did end up really liking it. It's kind of like a scrubby sponge here. So we use this for cleaning off our countertops and it works really well. I had a feeling I was going to like it because I have used some e-cloth products in the past and I have really liked them, but I hadn't, but I hadn't tried this particular one before. So I tried it a couple months ago, we really like it. So I got a second one. So now we'll always have a clean one. Whenever one's in the wash, we'll switch to the other one. So anyway, I am very happy with that. This is a product that I definitely recommend. It makes cleaning a little bit easier. I really like it because you don't have to use any kind of chemicals or anything like that. You can just clean up with, with basically just water on your countertops. If you're familiar with Norwex, I know that's probably a little more well-known than eCloth. Their products are kind of similar to Norwex products. So I really like this, so I got another one. Now, cannellini beans. Now, if you're familiar with Azure Standard at all, you know that they offer a lot of their products in a variety of sizes. So for the most part, buying the big sizes in bulk is going to be cheaper and save you money overall, like cheaper per pound, I should say, or per ounce. The cannellini beans were a little bit different. The best deal that I found for the amount of beans that I wanted, I could get a better deal by buying a really large bag of beans, but I didn't want that many, was to get a package that included four of these 34 ounce bags. So, it ended up being cheaper per ounce to buy them that way. So I bought two packages of those. I ended up with eight of these bags of cannellini beans. You can see behind me here, these are all cannellini beans. So we have eight bags of these. Now I'm kind of trying to stock up a little bit on some more bulk dry goods, but actually one of my plans for some of these cannellini beans is to pressure can them. A new electric pressure canner for my birthday and I'm super excited about it. I just tried it out for the very first time. I canned up some black beans. So I got some cannellini beans, so I'm going to go ahead and can some of those up too. And then I will, I'll probably store most of them in their dried state, but periodically we'll go through and can some of them. So that's something I'm really excited to stock my pantry shelves with. Next, I got this nice big package of egg noodles. This is two and a half pounds. So I think when you get the regular egg noodles from the grocery store, I think they come in about eight ounces or half pound bags. So assuming that I'm right about that, this is the equivalent to about five of those bags. So taking that into account, this price worked out to compare really well to those prices. And these are non-GMO. I actually, I think I thought when I ordered them, I think I meant to order the organic ones. I must have ordered just the non-GMO by mistake. But either way, these are still going to be higher quality and have healthier ingredients than the regular egg noodles that you'd find in the store. So I just went a lot in chicken noodle soup over the winter. Other kinds of soup, they're really good in that. So I just wanted to go ahead and have some of these on hand. So I've got a nice big bag of these. So I've never purchased honey 
from Azure Standard before. I have heard great things about their honey and it's a good price for getting, um, for getting bulk raw honey like this. So I got the raw berry wildflower honey. They also had a nice big jar of, I think it was orange blossom honey. I can't remember for sure, but I know I was deciding between the two kinds. I ended up going with this one, but in the future, I imagine I'll probably try the other one as well. So we really like to always have raw honey on hand. Raw honey is so good for you, so much better than the processed honey that you'd be likely to find at the grocery store. This still has all of its beneficial enzymes active in it. So I use this a lot when I'm making medicinal products like elderberry syrup, or I posted a video recently about elderberry calendula cold and flu elixir, which is my absolute favorite cold and flu medicine. So we use raw honey in that, fire cider, Sometimes if we're not feeling well, we'll put a little bit of raw honey in our tea, things like that. This is just a really, really great product to have on hand. So I'm looking forward to giving this honey a try and letting you know how I like it. So this is a three pound jar here. It does come in larger sizes, but I wanted to try it out first in this size and make sure that we really like it before getting a really big size. Next, I got a five pound bag of mushroom popcorn. Now, I know I did get mushroom popcorn from Azure for the first time probably a couple months ago. I can't remember exactly when it was. That was another one of those products that I said I would come back and let you know how I liked it. And we do really like it. I like the shape of the mushroom popcorn. It's kind of, you get more of like the big puffy round popcorn pieces and it's a little bit, I guess maybe has kind of a chewier texture if that makes sense. Um, anyway, we've been happy with it. So I went ahead and got a bigger bag this time. So I got the five pounds. This does come in larger bags as well, but I wasn't sure how much we would go through that fast. So we went ahead and got the five pound bag. So we will have lots of delicious snacks over the winter. I'm thinking of, we use an air popper and pop a lot of popcorn that way and then flavor it with various seasonings. But I think I might also try baking up some caramel corn in the oven, maybe around Christmas time. So we'll see how that goes. If it goes really well, maybe I'll post a video of that and uh, share a recipe with you guys. But either way, I like this popcorn. So we got some more of it, stocking up on that too. So next, I got this bulk bag of bay leaves. Now this is four ounces of bay leaves. When you find dried herbs that have had the moisture taken out of them, they tend to weigh very little. So four ounces of bay leaves, as you can see, this is a lot of bay leaves. This is going to last me for a really long time. I actually, when I ordered it, I didn't really realize exactly how much it's going to be. So this is probably going to last me longer than I was planning on, but we'll definitely use these in a lot of soup in the winter. And I also like to use these when I make bone broth to flavor my bone broth with. So we will definitely go through these, but it might take us a little while. So we'll enjoy having some nice flavor added to our food this winter. Now back here, you can see I got a 25 pound bag of organic cane sugar. I really like the organic sugar from Azure. It's a good price. It's a good quality product. And I just wanted to kind of replenish some of the sugar that we've gone through over the past few months. So I got another bag of that. So I haven't purchased all that much produce from Azure in the past, but produce prices are getting crazy at my local grocery store. And it's really, to get organic high quality produce from Azure is a similar price per pound to just getting the conventional produce at my local grocery store. So I decided to go ahead and get a couple produce items from Azure this month. Now I ordered 10 pounds of yellow onions and I gotta say these onions are huge. They look like they're really good quality. So I think that I'll be really happy with them. I do kind of wish that I had a little mix of sizes because sometimes I just want a small onion. But that being said, I'll definitely make it work. And if I'm using a big onion, you can always chop the whole onion and then freeze some of it, which makes meal prep even easier. So I'll probably be doing some of that. But as you can see, 10 pounds of onions, some nice, nice big onions in there. They look very good. I think these will last for quite a while. If you've seen any of my Azure hauls in the past, you know that I love this flower. Let me just. You can see this is the Central Milling Company. This is organic white flour. I really like this flour for pretty much all baking. For pretty much all the baking that I do. I bake a lot of bread, and especially this time of year, we do a lot of other baking too. Um, you know, holiday baking seasons are coming up, so we'll be making a lot of Christmas cookies and other things like that. And I really like to have a lot of flour on hand for that. We probably go through, I wanna estimate and say maybe about five pounds of flour a week. So a bag like this in theory would last us about 10 weeks. So I did not get a bag of flour last month from Azure. So I got one this month and that should last for a little bit. I've also been storing flour in my basement in five gallon food grade buckets. 
and we've just been cycling through that and kind of replenishing it as we use it. So I wanted to go ahead and replenish some flour that we've used up. Now here you can see, this is a giant bag of potatoes. So I ordered 50 pounds of potatoes from Azure. As I mentioned, produce prices in my local grocery store have been crazy. I went online to, I usually do curbside pickup when I, when I do a Walmart order, and I went online to get an order ready. We we're out of potatoes, so I went to add a five pound bag of potatoes to the order, and it was over $7 for five pounds of potatoes that weren't even organic. And I know prices may vary depending on where you are. And I think price of potatoes may have actually come down a little bit since then, but it was over $7 for a five pound bag. And at that time, anyway, I was looking at Azure and per pound, it was cheaper to get these organic potatoes from Azure Standard than to get just the conventional basic potatoes from my local Walmart. So I went ahead and ordered 50 pounds of these. Now that's a lot of potatoes. So I am not used to storing that many potatoes for that long. So I have been reading up on the proper ways to store potatoes for long-term storage. If you have any tips about storing your potatoes long-term, go ahead and leave those in the comments because I would definitely like to, I would definitely like to get some tips on that. I do not want to take any risk of these potatoes going bad. We've made an investment in potatoes. Now, I am planning to store some of them probably in my garage because it stays pretty cool in there without getting below freezing. So I'm thinking that is probably the best place for our situation since we don't have a root cellar. But I am probably going to can up some of these. As I said, I just got a new pressure canner, so I'm excited to can all the things and just really try it out. So we will probably be canning some potatoes with that. Again, if you have canning potato tips, leave those in the comments too. And I'm also planning to possibly make up a big batch of pierogies or gnocchi, some kind of foods like that that will use the potatoes and freeze those. So that will be another way that we kind of preserve the potatoes. So I'm going to open up this bag. I haven't even opened it myself yet. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna take a look inside and see what these potatoes look so like. So I'm pretty sure the bag that I got, I'm pretty sure that there are 10 five pound bags in this bag. So I think that they are individually, individually packaged, not per potato, but individually packaged for five, per five pound bag. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yep. So I got the yellow, the gold potatoes. So we've got lots of potatoes here. So we have this, I believe, is, yes, this is a five pound bag. So I've got 10 of these five pound bags of potatoes. These look like they're in great condition. This is the time of year that we use potatoes more. You know, we usually make mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. It's just kind of a comforting food to have in the winter. Plus we use potatoes in soup a lot, which we also have this time of year. So I'm really looking forward to eating lots of hearty potatoes this winter. Now the last item that I purchased this month if you've seen any of my previous Azure hauls, this will not be at all surprising to you. If you have not seen them, I am going to recommend this butter very highly. This butter is so good and we love it. So I get, okay, let me show you. So I get the 10 pack of butter almost every month. So these come in half pound blocks. So two of them together would equal the pound of butter that you would normally find at the grocery store but I really do love this butter. It's deep and rich, it's organic, it's grass-fed, it has a great flavor. Now, you may be wondering, if you watch my Azure haul videos every month, you may be wondering how much butter can one family really eat because I buy the 10 pack of this butter almost every month. I do store most of it in my freezer and then we pull it out and defrost it as needed. So I have quite a bit of this stored up in my freezer right now. Now, Christmas season is coming up. We are going to be baking lots of cookies, so we will be using lots of butter. That being said, we do have a pretty good stockpile of this butter right now, so don't be surprised if in my November Azure haul, I do not actually have this butter included in my haul, but I still recommend it. I think it's delicious. So if you shop at Azure and you haven't bought this butter yet, definitely go ahead and give it a try in your next order. You can get it in a smaller package. I don't remember what is the smallest amount that you can get this in, maybe three, maybe three blocks but I like to get the 10 block pack because you save a lot of money that way. It's quite a bit cheaper per block. So either way, this butter is delicious. We use it in a lot of things. So that is my Azure haul for the month of October. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all these exciting food items that we got. If you have any favorite products from Azure that you like to buy, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll check out your recommendations. 
If you've never tried Azure before, I'm going to include my referral link in the video description. If you sign up for Azure through my link, that gives me kind of a thank you referral fee and I would greatly appreciate that. That's a great way to support my channel at no additional cost to you. But again, don't feel like you have to use that link. I'm just going to include it in case you are trying to get started with Azure and not sure where to start. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.